hey guys welcome back to my channel so i figured i would do a video um touching this topic on diva curl and i feel like i owe it to you guys because from the very beginning of my transition to natural i've always talked about diva curl and um if you remember i even did a giveaway on diva curl and recently um since having my um, youngest son um, I decided to go back to Diva Curl um, just to kind of, you know, go to what I know worked and what I knew um, made my hair feel soft and it tangled easily. And um, yeah, so I always kind of talked about this product on my channel in a very positive way, but I didn't want to neglect speaking on what's going on in the whole beauty hair community and um you know i feel like i owe it to my subscribers just in case because i have recently used this product in one of my videos and i wouldn't want um, you to think that this is going to be a bomb product for you and then you go purchase it and then one of these things happen to you so let's um let me just go over what's going on in the beauty world regarding diva curl um basically a lot of influencers um, who get sent these products and also people who purchase them with their own money and their own coin and who believe in this brand who have used them for many years like myself um, have have been having some really bad experiences um, there is this one youtuber her name is curly ninja um, I didn't know about her until a couple days ago and I started watching some of her videos because there's a scandal going on and uh, apparently it's ruined the hair of many curly hair women and they don't particularly have my hair type so i don't watch their videos um but they seem like they have great and content excellent videos um obviously because it's you know curly hair related and you know i love anything curly haired but these women they look like their hair have been chemically relaxed some women hair has fallen out and the reason why i'm making this video this is definitely not a clickbait type of video. If you if you know my channel, you know that I'm actually on a hair journey to um, help stop this massive amount of shedding that's going on in my hair. Um, I'll put in a clip so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I my my little swan is for a little over four months, and right when I hit maybe three months, my hair has this mass shedding. And I know that we all, some of us, shed um, postpartum hair, um, but this was excessive and to the likes of nothing I've ever seen before. And coincidentally, I had started using these products once again around that time period, you know, getting back into my healthy hair journey, making videos again. And I said, let me go to what I know will work for me and what has worked in the past. And um, apparently I've been having a lot of shedding. Now, is this from Diva Girl? I don't know. Am I going to be using these products again? I'm not using these products until they figure out what's going on. If you hear noise, um, that's because he's right here sitting in my lap. Um, but yeah, this is definitely not a clickbait. This is not following the trend. Um, I have myself been shedding a lot of hair and I can't say where that shedding has come from. Is it postpartum? But I do know that at the same time, my hair has been shedding. It's when I started using the Diva Curl. I do know that my hair started shedding once I started using Diva Curl again. But my baby was at that point three months. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's from Diva Curl. Allegedly, these things are happening to these women. Um, and it they say it's related to that product line. I do know that there has been a change. I know that... Um, the original owner sold the company to someone else. Um, I don't check the ingredients because I've already checked them. So, you know, I don't regularly check something that I've already checked. But that's something that I would encourage everyone to do. And I'm definitely going to start doing it myself. I will not try another product without checking the ingredients to see if things change. And I felt comfortable with them even until like 
even up until my la one of my most recent videos, which was um, a couple weeks ago, and I was showing you I was using them as a leave-in because I use it as a co-wash, a leave-in, and I spend my own coin on these things. So, yeah, um, I did want to just let you guys know what was going on with Diva Curl. I did want to um, say for the record that I won't be using these products. Um, I do recommend that. Sorry guys, I got cut off. Um, I do want to say that I recommend that, shoot, my lighting has changed. I want to finish out the video and say that I recommend that you definitely check your ingredients, um, do your diligent search, um, be sure you know what you're putting in your hair. And um, yeah, nothing hurts with watching other hair textures because this is how we learn um, and this is how we can help each other to make sure that you know, we do the best thing for ourselves because what we put on ourselves externally, best believe it goes internally. So thank you guys so much for watching. And, um, you know what? I'm going to try to keep you guys updated on this topic. All right. Take care guys.